Should you buy the Asus Zenfone 6? Well, that's the question I'm here to answer for you. I'm CE Tech Dude, and the short answer is yes, you should. For the long answer, stick around. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so the first thing I want to go over is just the build quality of this phone. It's really nice. It's a 6.4 inch screen with no holes or notches or anything on it because of that uh, camera on the back. It uh, replaces the need for anything on the front. Besides, there's an LED notification light right there, and then you got an earpiece right here. It's hard to see, but it's it's there. And this actually has a dual speaker, although it's very weak, especially coming out of the dual, especially coming out of the earpiece right here. But it does have a speaker on the bottom as well. Now, as far as the back goes, it is glass and it has a real nice blue kind of. This is a black foam, but it's got a blue tint too, which is cool, and the blue logo right there, the blue writing. It's really nice as well. You have that uh, fingerprint sensor there that works really well and it uh, unlocks the phone quickly. I have no issues with that at all. And on the bottom you have a USB-C port and a headphone jack right here. And nothing really on the left side besides the SIM card tray and the SD card slot. And you can put two SIM cards in here plus one SD card which is pretty sweet. And on the right side you have the power button, you have a volume rocker right here, and you have this uh, this little key right here which uh, out of the box acts as a uh, dedicated Google Assistant button, but you can also change it to something more preferred, which I have it set for the, so one press to adjust the sound profile, so press it once and it changes to sound or mute or vibrate, uh, two presses with the flashlight which is sweet and if you hold it it takes a screenshot so very cool and I actually like this button a lot I prefer it uh, the way it's set up for me right now which is the sound profile the flashlight or the screenshot but you might like to dedicate a Google key I I don't so I chose this but this one also has Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and it has a 6.4 inch 2k display which is really nice and the LCD Unfortunately, the display isn't AMOLED, which isn't a huge deal because it has a really nice LCD. Colors are accurate, viewing angles are pretty good in my opinion. Uh, it gets plenty bright, although I wish it got a little brighter for outdoor. Uh, as you can see, I'm just struggling right now uh, with the outdoor readability, but it's actually not bad at all. And I actually like the way the display looks a lot, even though it's not AMOLED, which uh, the, only, the only thing I wish this had, uh, which normally AMOLED phones have, are always on display. It doesn't have that, but you can set up double tap to to wake and lift to wake so if you have the phone sitting down lift it up it'll wake the screen up which is nice as well but I do prefer having the always-on display which this phone doesn't have unfortunately not a huge deal but just want to let you know now of course I didn't mention the camera for a reason because well the camera is something special in itself uh, obviously there's no front camera on the on the phone because everything is in the back and the reason why that is is because I'm sure you already know this but the camera flips up so it's got that cool motorized feature which you can adjust using the volume buttons when you're in the camera you can set the motor to your liking just using the volume up or volume down keys which is really sweet and this this uh, camera is quite the head turner I've gotten a lot of like whoa that's uh, that's neat and I agree it is really neat and it's also very useful in my opinion um, one of the main reasons I don't ever use phones for recording, except for right now, uh, for recording myself at least, is because, well, the front camera usually isn't as good as the rear camera. So this solves that problem uh, by putting the rear camera on the front, which uh, is really cool and it's going to be very useful for YouTube videos, uh, for people that are recording vlogs and such. Um, it's really a neat feature and I'll go over that more in a few minutes. Um, and this phone, like I said, it has some weight to it, and that's because of the 5,000 milliamp hour battery that's in this phone. Uh, this thing, the battery life on this phone is just spectacular, guys. It's it's great. Uh, it's definitely a two-day phone. I took the, I'll show you actually the battery stats real quick. Let me get there. So as you can see, the screen usage since full charge is three hours and 17 minutes. Mostly these 
the uh, battery usage is from apps. Pandora always seems to drain my battery. That's uh, another thing for another time. But but yeah, so you can see the last time I charged the phone was one day, three hours ago. I still have 13 hours left. And it's been a great battery phone. So yeah, three hours, 18 minutes screen on time right now. That'll definitely go up. Um, but that's just me. I play with the phone a lot just because I like to use the camera and stuff so much. But yeah, that's not bad at all. Now, one thing, uh, I'm using this phone with T-Mobile um, in the US. This is the US version of the phone. And this phone does not have Volt or Wi-Fi calling, which is a big disappointment for me um, because Volt, it does make a huge difference in audio quality when you're calling people. And that's definitely noticeable on this phone. Um, it does, does not sound very good when you're making phone calls. But, so this phone has call recording, which I'm not gonna show you right this second because I have this on airplane mode. But when you're in the middle of a phone call on the phone call, menu next to the keypad there is a call recording button you push that and the phone call is being recorded and i'll play a sample clip right now for you so you can hear the quality of it please hold while i try to connect you hello hey how's it going oh good how's it going with you oh pretty good i was just testing a uh call recording on the Zenfone 6. Thanks. But it works really well, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's really neat. I wish all phones had call recording because it's just a cool feature to have. But yeah, overall, signal quality on this phone is great uh, on T-Mobile. It has doesn't have bands, the 71 or I think it's 67, but it has two and 12 on it, which is fine. It gets LTE. Uh, no issues there so unfortunately even though this phone has a glass back there is no wireless charging which is kind of a bummer um, but that's okay you know at the $500 price point this phone has tons of features and I can live without wireless charging although it would be would be nice so now as far as the software experience goes this phone has pretty close to stock Android with a few uh, few Asus tweaks the stock launcher though I'm actually pretty happy with um, no complaints it's plenty flat plenty fast and it has the Google assistant to if you swipe to the right which is nice so that's pretty cool uh, under the settings there's a bunch of different settings here and one thing i would recommend oh it's a preference thing but it has dark mode which is nice so if you go to system color scheme you can change it from light to dark which is neat and it's got splendid which is which is just some lcd tweaking you can turn on you can adjust the color temperature or change the color mode from light color gamut to standard and customized so yeah overall software wise i mean it feels plenty fast, plenty snappy, pretty close to stock Android, with just a few tweaks. So yeah, I'm happy with the software overall. Uh, it's Android 9 Pi, and it's promised the next year versions of Android, which is really sweet as well, because when you buy a phone, um, Samsung is a culprit, you usually just up update to the next version of Android, and don't usually necessarily update to the latest one after that, but this phone is guaranteed two major software updates, which is nice, so it should get Android Q and R, which is awesome. And as far as uh, performance on this phone, this has the Snapdragon 855 chipset. This is the 64 gig and 6 gig of RAM version, and it performs very well. Uh, I mean, it's super fast. Opening apps is quick. Opening cameras quick as well. Gaming on it works just fine. I played Fortnite at the epic settings, 30 FPS. Uh, works great. Um, no issues for any kind of performance. This has the same processor that the Galaxy S10 and the Note 10 have in it so yeah it's gonna perform well for years to come so overall great great performance on this phone guys now one thing I do want to cover is some of the camera features um, so besides so with it having the flip camera it has some really cool things so one of the things I want to show you is this panoramic mode which uh, it's auto panorama so you just basically hold the phone and with that flip camera, it just starts taking a panorama for you. Don't mind my big foot there. But yeah, it's really cool. Uh, don't have to move the phone at all. This flip camera just does everything for you, which is really cool. It just automatically starts doing its thing. And I like that a lot. And as far as video performance goes, uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I was using this phone as the video camera and it does a great job. It does 4K. 60 frames per second and uh, it's got a really nice camera on it uh, maybe it has a dedicated night mode 
which I'll show you some differences there between non-night mode and night mode. And as you can see, it works great. It's also got pro mode. Uh, it's got a portrait mode, which works great as well. And you can get some great portraits from just the camera because you can just flip that camera over and get you a nice portrait photo. I'll go ahead and leave a sample for you right there. And it's got slow motion. I haven't tried that yet. And it's got a time-lapse feature, which is really nice as well. So overall, I would, yeah, this camera, it takes great pictures, great video, uh, no complaints. And this phone also has a wide-angle camera, which you can record in 4K as well. And it takes some really great photos and video. Uh, it's, I'm actually using the wide-angle video recording right now, so you can see just how good it is. And I'll show you some pictures comparing the normal photo mode versus the wide-angle photo mode for your viewing pleasure. And one other thing which you may not care about is this phone already has a official Lineage OS build on it, which is sweet. I haven't installed that yet or played with it, but um, if they don't honor their word for software updates, of course you always have the, uh, the option to install Lineage once you unlock your bootloader, which ASUS provides a bootloader unlock tool for you, which is sweet. So yeah, um, overall guys, I would say this phone, you should definitely keep it on your list of phones to buy. It's got all the latest and greatest features. Uh, it starts at $500. This is the $500 phone. Uh, this is a 64 gig, 60, 6 gig version. And 500 bucks, you get great camera, great battery life, great software experience. You also get the latest and greatest specs as far as chipset and RAM and features go. And you get the micro SD card slot and the headphone jack, which a lot of phones are taking out now. So at $500, this phone is a steal, guys. And I would highly recommend it to you if you're looking for a new phone and you want the latest and greatest. So that's about all I have as far as uh, my review for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm CE Tech Dude. You just got CE Tech. Have a great day. See you next time. And thanks for watching. Peace.